Okay, now one thing to notice is that this took 17 seconds. You can see the 17 right there, and so you can always know how long a step takes that way. So now let's view our results. So if we go ahead, this is going to print out um, a prediction for 100 degrees Celsius, which we know should be 212 degrees Fahrenheit. And then it's also going to show us the weight and the bias. And so we talked about how the weight and the bias help make that equation that we see. So in this case, we had 1.84 and a bias of 26, and together they produced an output of almost 211 degrees. So not exactly correct, but pretty close. Okay, and we didn't necessarily do a lot to get there. We have very little training data. So now we can also look at some of our model metrics. So our model metrics here are going to show us what that loss is. And so remember, the loss is essentially the difference between the predicted value and the expected value as it goes through the model. And so you can see, even after 100 times through the data, it still had a pretty big loss. But as we got down, the loss magnitude got much smaller um, and it got pretty close. Still didn't get down to the bottom, so we could have probably run some more epochs and gotten a little bit better data, but that's okay. We're going to stop at 500.